hi guys you're welcome to my channel in today's class we're learning how to draft our bustier pattern so here i have my pattern on my table and like you already know i've taken down my one inch for my allowance and that is simply just going to start at my starting line i'm going to serve as my starting line so every measurement i'll be taking will be starting from that point so right now i'm taking my bust point my on the bust and my half length all right so from this bustier pattern we're going to be making a dress a beautiful dress so i am just going to go ahead and connect those lines together so after doing that the next thing we're going to be doing is from that point we're going to take our shoulder measurements shoulder measurements i'm working with here is 15 inches divided by two we have 7.5 and then we're going to come down by one inch and that is going to help us get our shoulder slope so from that point i'm going to mark my armhole measurement and how you get that is you divide your bust measurement by six plus 1.5 okay divide your bust measurement by six plus one 1.5 is going to give you a perfect um, whole measurement so i've gone ahead to connect that line and i am labeling my lines so there i have my chest line my bust points my under bust my half length and my one inch for my allowance so from that point we're taking our neck measurement so this client wants a very deep neck so we did 3.5 by 10 inches 10.5 rather 3.5 by 10.5 but i think i ended up going up by half inch so that by the time i'm done i'm um, finishing up the neckline i'm going to end up having 10 inches okay so what i'm doing right now is i added um, 0 0.5 inch to the top of my shoulder and that is just going to serve as my shoulder allowance and i've connected that next i'm going to um, be taking my dart measurement and how you get your dart distance is you take your tape and place it from one nipple to the other nipple all right divide that by two and you get that so for my client it's eight divided by two is four i've gone ahead to mark that four inch and i've connected it all the way to the end of my dress so from the armhole i'm dividing that measurement i have there by two marking that point and then i'm going in by 0 0.5 this is for the front armhole and then we'll just go ahead and connect that but for connecting please measure your take your bust measurements at the chest line Put that point down and that's just going to help you connect your armhole accurately so what i'm doing right now is i'm connecting if you have your if you do not have your curve please use the dotted line method it still works okay so next what we're doing is i'm going up by one inch you can go by half inch i'm going up by one inch coming down by one inch and then i'm connecting that to that point when i divided my the armhole i had there by two i'm connecting it to that point like so and then i'm going in to the center front by half inch and then i'm coming out to the side front by 1.5 inch so in all my that um in all i'm making use of one point i'm making use of two inches sorry of that i've connected that half inch i went down by that one inch i went down by all right i've connected that and then what i'm doing right now is i'm connecting the same one inch i went down by to that 1.5 i marked to the side front and so just go ahead and connect it you can see our our bust here is already taking shape so from that point i'm going down by 1.5 and I will go ahead and use my curved driller, my pattern master, to connect it this way. Please take your time while doing this. And like I said, if you do not have this, you can use the dotted line methods. Just make sure you get an accurate line. So after doing that, I am going out by 1.5. And this is because I do not want to have shortage by the time I'm done cutting and I want to join all right so the next thing we're going to be doing right now is we'll be taking our body measurement so i'm taking my bust measurement divided by four i'm marking that down 
Alright, and then I'll go all the way to the waist, take my waist measurement by 4, mark that down, take the distance for my dart. I have 2 inches there, I'll add that 2 inches there. Alright, and then I'll add my 1.5 inch for my allowance. So go ahead and do that. Right, and then from that point, 1.5 went out by, we're going to connect it all the way to, to that point here, like so. So as you can see, everything is taking shape already. For our neck depth, remember I went in by, went down by 10 inches. Then I went in by 0 0.5 inches. So I'll just connect that all the way to that point and make a little curve. So like I said earlier, I ended up going up by half inch. So by the time I'm done, I will be having 10 inches. So this part where I'm marking X on are the parts I'll be cutting out. Alright. So for the cutting aspect, please just watch carefully and closely so you don't make a mistake. If this is your first time, I would advise you watch me do it first before doing it on your own just so you don't make a mistake so just carefully watch what i'm doing right now is i'm marking 0 0.5 inch all the way so like i earlier said i am i'm doing this because i want to have four inches neck width and 10 inches neck depth so just watch me cut carefully all right So when you get to that point, carefully cut it out slowly so you don't ruin your pattern. And that is why it's advisable you do whatever drafting you're doing on pattern. So I'm just going to label it out as my center front and my side front. And of course, this is going to be on fold. We're going to be having the center front is going to be on fold and the side front will be having two piece. So here I have another pattern paper and this is going to serve as my back pattern. I am doing what we usually do, taking down one inch and then I am marking two inch by that point and this is going to serve as our zipper allowance. So go ahead and connect that line and label it as your zip. So whatever measurements will be taken now is going to be starting from that point. So I am doing the exact thing I did for my front pattern. I'm taking down my body measurements, my bust points, my on the bust and my half length. And then there I have my one inch for seam allowance at the end of my pattern. So I've gone ahead to connect those lines and I'm labeling them out, of course, so you guys don't get confused. So next what I'm doing is I am taking down the same neck width, which is 4 inches. And my shoulder measurement, from my shoulder measurement, I went down by 1 inch and I connected it to that 4 inch neck width. And then I took down my armhole measurement to connect those lines. Alright, and I'm just going to go ahead and label that my chest line. So after doing that, or so connecting the armhole line we did, divide that by, by 2, mark out that point, take our bust measurement by 4, mark that point out, and then connect our armhole. As you can see, the front armhole is different from the back armhole. Alright, so please take note of that. So what we are doing right now is taking our dart. Remember the dart I'm making use of is 4 inches and then for the back I am going in and out by 0 0.5 inch and then I went all the way to my chest line and then I went down 1 inch from my chest line and I connected it to that half, half inch I took on the lower part of our pattern. If you want to princess that back, um, back piece just go ahead and connect from your half inch. From that one inch you went up by from your chest line to the four inch you took or your armhole. But if you do not want that, for this dress, I'll be making use of a regular dart. 
right so and that is what i'm doing i've taken down my neck depth i'm taking my measurements of course and i am adding the same same allowance i added for my front to my back bit just so everything aligns when it's time to join and then you go ahead and connect your lines so after doing this we're going to be um, achieving that fitting for the back so it'll eliminate that back bulge i went out by at my half length i went out by 1.5 and then I'm connecting that 1.5 all the way to that 2 inches from the neck depth. And then I'll cut out that point. This is just so we will not be having that bulky zip behind. Just so the back sits perfectly on our body. Alright, so if you want that fitting, go ahead and do the same thing I did. And then next, we're just going to cut out the parts we won't be making use of. Okay, so just watch closely at what I'm cutting so you don't end up making a mistake. Okay, so of course we'll be having two pieces for our back. Um, our next class is going to be on how to cut this on fabric. So remember to turn on that notification bell so you get notified when I upload that video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.